explain that duality because like you can you all of a sudden become complex as well and become a tiger well no but come on think about it think about it come on it could be cool but we, it's not realistic so the same thing when it comes to a fish to become a human being is not realistic but the thing is that all of us are in agreement that it makes more sense for a creator that created us with knowledge with will with power it also makes sense for your from your perspective is that god has given prophets to convey the revelations otherwise look that's going to be an excuse for us then that like we was left un misguided i don't believe if a just for god existed i wouldn't believe that he came to us he didn't give us any guidance that wouldn't be fair that you would be lost you would be lost i would be lost without religion everyone would be lost so that's why it makes more sense what do you guys know about islam like what do you know about the quran and the prophet muhammad mind how much of islam is being fed yeah but now today that's changed right yeah but today that has changed right because at the start you both asked questions about the women covering about like uh, what else was it the other question you had education thing and that been clarified so now your mindset has changed now you guys are open minded because you got you are actually talking to a muslim so I mean, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, like, yeah. I, I agree with a lot of your, like, yeah. I, I still don't agree with some bits, but like, That's fine. It, it makes a lot The foundations make sense, yeah? yeah? yeah, yeah. So, sense. So, so what's stopping you from becoming a Muslim right now? If the foundation makes sense to you, if the most important thing, which is the concept of one God, and we worship him without any partners. You know Christians, they worship Jesus, right? Yeah. We don't believe, yeah, we don't believe yeah. a, a man, a man that used to eat food. And if a man eats food, then by default, the scholars, the Salaf used to say he defecates. We don't believe an individual human can be perfect, but at the same time be imperfect. Perfect. That doesn't make logical sense. Either you're God, either you're human. That's why in Islam we believe in the concept of Tawheed. We worship that one God without any partners. He's the, he's self-sufficient. He's the most knowledgeable. He's the most wise, and he has no father. He has no son. And this is what us Muslims believe. And that's the foundations that I've been talking to you, and you guys believe in it as well. That concept of God makes sense than any other religion, right? Yeah. Exactly. So and then about the Prophet Muhammad. What do you guys know about the Prophet Muhammad? Uh, I know that you're meant to say like peace be upon him. Of course, we're all the prophets as well. Oh, Even so Jesus. He was sent out to go, say, yeah, he was um, blessed by God to write the Quran. You yeah, know, basically, the, Allah, the Quran is Allah's speech. Yeah, is, 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 is his attributes. But the thing is, he, it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad to convey to the people. Yeah. Like for example, alcohol. You know, back then, uh, 1400 years ago, they used to bury their own daughters. They used to say that's dishonorable to have a daughter, 1400 years ago. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. very normal. The Prophet Muhammad came to prohib prohibit this. Allah has given him revelations. The, Allah said, do not drink uh, alcohol. Allah says, do not go to gambling. Because these are the destroyers of society, not just 1400 years ago, but now. But don't you guys think this is a miracle, yeah? 1400 years ago, the solution to all of the problems that we're having right now was already mentioned. So don't drink alcohol. Don't go ahead with gambling. Don't do sexual fornication because fatherless households, more crimes, you know, um, no prayer, lack of God. All these problems that we see that, that's why we see individuals like Andrew Tate. Why did he become so famous? Because many of his views were traditional values that aligned with Islam. Not all, but I'm saying a lot of them were. That's why he decided to become Muslim because he's seen feminism. He's seen the, the nonsense that liberalism has spread it to us, that has enforced our children to force a certain ideology. But once you have traditional values, you have some principles. The thing is that people say that, oh, we have to be tolerant. If you're tolerant for everything, you stand for nothing. You stand for nothing. You have to be strong to your principles. So now that that makes sense, do you accept that Jesus, Moses, Noah are prophets? Yeah. You accept Jesus, Noah and Moses are prophets? Yeah. So you believe all the prophets were, were messengers that came to preach one God. You know Moses, you know Jesus, they all said worship one God. You know all of them, they prostrated on the floor and worshiped that one God. Jesus, Moses, Abraham, even the angels, they prostrated on the floor. Christians don't do that nowadays, but who does that? Muslims. We worship God the way that Jesus, the Moses and all the prophets worshiped him. So now after saying all of this guys, why would not you guys become Muslim? I'm giving you an invitation to become a Muslim. I mean, it seems the like the foundations make sense. Like, like it, it makes sense, but yeah. I, don't, I don't like. I'm not saying it's wrong, but like I don't yeah. agree with some bits of it. Yeah. Like, but the I, foundations make sense to you. You said that. The foundation makes sense. The thing is, the reason why I'm, I'm saying this to you guys, yeah, is not for my interest. It's for your interest. Because how many people do we know that go sleep, but they never wake up? How many people do we know that leave the, that leave their house? but they never come back. We could die, I could die tomorrow, you could die tomorrow. So the thing is, yeah, we don't have time. Like, you know, if truth exists, we have to accept it. Because if we die and God has created you, He has created you with a purpose, He's given you food, He's given you rizq, He's given you everything, and then you die without actually appreciating your God, that's very scary, bro. No, I mean, it feels like a massive ch change to do yeah, on I mean, such it's, a... it's quite daunting. So, uh, like, in, in regards to becoming a Muslim? Yeah. Why? Where are you guys from? Czech Republic, you said, yeah? Poland. You're Polish, you're Czech Republic. You know, so... I know Poland. I, I know Poland. Don't worry, guys. Poland, leave him. Don't worry. He's all good, man. Like, thing is, they are Polish and Czech Republic and many 
many Eastern Europeans, a lot of them, even in the UK, are becoming Muslims. A lot of them. I've seen many Polish people in London that became Muslim. This thing is, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of revert Muslims. There's a lot of Muslims that are from every single ethnicity. That's what differentiates Islam from every other religion. <laughs> yeah, it would be late, wouldn't it? Different, different flavors and stuff. Yeah, I don't think my mum would be very happy. Look, the thing is that a lot of the people back then they were not happy. But once they see the change that Islam brings, once they see that the implementation of the religion, your good character, that you know you don't drink alcohol, you're disciplined, you're respectful, you worship one God, you treat your parents with respect. Even in this country, guys, I'll be honest with you, there's a culture. Once you become 18 years old. You go ahead, you go away, you get your own accommodation. And once your parents go old, you put them in a care home, yeah? yeah? And many times we see their parents are so lonely, they're so neglected, the children don't come after him, they don't visit them, they have no like no, no celebration, no nothing. They feel so depressed. Why? Because the, the love of the mother is gone. Nowadays I see sons, yeah, they're speaking to the mother and they're telling the mother to shut up. Bro, if we talk, if let me tell you guys, if I told my mom to shut up, I would get a slap. Not with my hand, with, with some shoes. But in this country, look what we're seeing. It's crazy the disrespect that we're seeing between no, parents. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's like an American and British thing. Because if I did that to my mum, social yeah, services, would... social yeah. services. Now even in England, to be honest, I would, yeah, I could, not everyone. But I'm saying nowadays that the respect that we have for our parents and that our elderly people is not here. That's why in Islam, paradise is under the feet of our mother. I, I'm not gonna waffle a lot, but yeah. if yeah. That, that happened to my to my nan and she drop kicked one of my mum's cousins out of the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's over, yeah, it's no, over. No yeah. way, no not way. everyone, not everyone. Of course you're like Eastern European as always a bit yeah. more harsher. But you know, Eastern Europe, like even in Romania for example, they actually have some decent traditional values. Yeah. Like, even though like they're not fully Christian, they have traditional yeah. values. But the thing is they stand for everything. Like for example, there's like a great priest and he's promoting LGBT. If you're a Christian and you believe that homosexuality is wrong, how comes you're going to the public and promoting the same thing? It makes you a hypocrite. That's why when it comes to Muslims, if murder is wrong 1400 years ago, it will always be wrong. If rape is wrong 1400 years ago, it will always be rape. For example, atheists, yeah, they have no morality. They think that, for example, right now it's normal to, you know, have like same gender relationships, but 1000 or 100 years from now, they will normalize incest, brother and sister. With contraception, they will normalize it. That's what I'm saying. When you have no morals, when you have no religion, you're when a you, bit behind, you're behind because incest is legal across the English Channel. Well, there we go. It's already started. It's already started. Since the time of Napoleon, you're a bit behind. No, 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 no. It's not normalised publicly. No, no. There's a very, very uh, extremist society where well, that's legal. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, it's changing though. It's changing. Even in the UK, that like hundred years ago, there was no such LGBT. Like the punishment was death. So, okay, we're not. We're not. I'm not discriminating against you personally. Okay, first. Okay, we're just look. We're just having a discussion, right? I am 85 years of age, and I've been LGBTQA plus since I was 15. Where did you get morality from? No change. No, wait, wait. No Muhammad okay, or Muslim can change. Me. Okay, okay. No God is, or you want a discussion? Are you going to shout? You, you look at the way he's interrupting man. the conversation. Get you see this? Yourself and bring yourself Listen, your elderly, you, you need to have some respect. For the way you've your elderly, you must LGBT. have some respect. You need to be more respectful. Okay, leave him. Okay, guys, ignore him. Ignore him. Ignore him. Ignore him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Look at this guy, man. Look at this guy, bro. Listen, your elderly uncle needs to get away. You're an elderly person. This guy, you know, he's an elderly person. I'm not doing anything. I'm just finding him to move out of space. The thing is that... I was a bit late, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, look, unfortunately, we got interrupted, yeah? So let's just end this short, let's end this short. The thing is, what I'd say is, like, start learning about Islam, yeah? You believe in the foundation, you know, we could die anytime, yeah? Research about the Quran, do you come here again? Are you guys going to come here again? Probably, I mean, not next week, but sometime in the future. Try coming the, the next two weeks, research about Islam, we'll come together, we'll have a discussion, and we'll take it from there, yeah? What was your name again? Sam. Sam, my name is Osama, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'll let you finish drinking your water before I greet you. What's your name, my friend? Oliver. Nice to meet you, Oliver. My name was Osama. And next few weeks, he said he's coming, I'll meet you then, yeah? Yeah, come here, come here, come here.